I'd now like to quickly touch on the consumerisation story, right? So, so we know that today we go home, we use devices, and they're, they're fantastically easy to use, they're really appealing. There's a lot of reasons why people are coming back and saying, you know, my, my work experience just isn't the same. And frankly, what it comes down to, it's user experience, right? It's just about how appealing, how attractive are these things to use. Now, Citrix has recognised this. We are working very hard on taking what was already a simple experience and making it simpler. The first step in recent times towards that has been the, the application receiver, being able to br bring all of your Citrix clients and download them at once uh, automatically and have them automatically updated on your, on your uh, user's device. Now, Dazzle is another huge step towards that. And what I'd like to do is step aside and let Adam walk us through that right now. Adam. OK, all right, so Citrix Dazzle all about consumerising enterprise IT. And you've seen a couple of demos of it uh, very quickly today. We'll go into a little bit more depth now and show you what it's all about and, um, and how to use it. So let's, uh, let me first explain what, what the scenario is here. So I've got a, a PC sitting here on the desk and we're connected in via Access Gateway to our production system uh, in uh, North Ride in Sydney. And this is running against our real production system. So uh, we've got Dazzle running here locally, and we're connecting in. The way that Dazzle works, it, it essentially fits on top of the Citrix receiver. So if you've, if you've seen uh, Citrix receiver, and the way that it can manage all of the, uh, the client components and, and the applications and things like that, Dazzle is an interface that allows users a lot more flexibility that fits on top of that component. So let me get this started. I'll go down to the Start menu here. All right, Citrix Dazzle, there it is. So we use the inspiration from iTunes, very usable from a user's perspective, which is great. And it's all about really giving users a different feel when it comes to enterprise IT. You know, traditionally, when administrators have pushed applications out and you know, when users have joined a particular enterprise, they've been given a laptop, they've been given a desktop or whatever, they've said, you know, here's your applications, here's your environment, this is what you must use. Well, that may work for some of us. That may work for most of us in the crowd. But there's a brand new generation of users coming out there that that doesn't wash with. Very creative people, people that demand a lot more from technology. You know, technology is ingrained in their lives and they want the flexibility to choose what applications they're running. So let's have a little look here. We've got the Dazzle folder down the bottom here. Now, that's very similar to iTunes. Uh, if you like. We have different playlists uh, within iTunes and the Dazzle folder is very similar to that. So these are some different folders that I've set up. I've got Business, MS Office and I can put applications into those folders that will be reflected in the Start menu. I can have applications recommended to me that if I'm a new user that comes in to work at an enterprise, I can have applications recommended because I don't know what I'm supposed to be using. So it's a good starting point for users uh, when they're using Dazzle. You can see here the front page, and this is where enterprise IT can really create a relationship with their users. They're able to advertise different things that are going on within enterprise IT. Of course, we've got an ad here for Dazzle, brand new. Uh, we've got some things here for Go to Assist. We've also got the, uh, the enterprise bring your own PC uh, offering that's going on at the moment. There's also an area called Expert City, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And we've got some video clips created by Citrix's product, GoView. So you can create a GoView recording and show users how to do particular things, or other users can create help GoViews, if you like, to assist other users. So that's the front page. Let's go into the Dazzle store and have a little look at the applications. We can see all the applications are presented. Now, this is Citrix production. So this is what we get every day. We're a large multinational company, and we have a lot of applications. So you can see we've got a massive list, okay, and it's quite confusing, and normally and traditionally I'd actually have access to all of those applications in my Citrix receiver, and it's too confusing. I have too many, I probably use about three of them. You can see that some applications can run offline and some are online applications. So let's have a little look here. Let's show you how, how easy it is to select the applications that I want to use. So let's say here I want to use Citrix Easy Call, okay, that's an offline app, I'm going to add that goes down into my Dazzle folder, and you'll see that it starts to download. Okay, that's an offline application, so of course it wants to be downloaded and run on this machine here. 
basically, I can choose the ones I want and they're all the applications I need to worry about. It's really that simple. Also gives you quite a nice search functionality. So let me have a look here, financial apps, I'll spell it correctly. Let's select this financial reporting app here. This has told me here that approval is required. Now, another great thing about Dazzle is it will tie into the workflow of your enterprise. So if you're using something like Workflow Studio, you're able to tie in with your back-end processes. So you might have SAP, you might have something else that runs an escalation perhaps. Perhaps I need approval to get access to this application. That's what's going into the background and Dazzle allows you to tie in with all those bits and pieces. I can submit that request and what would happen is the application will be moved down to the Dazzle folder and then when approval is given from the back end systems, that application would then be available. All right, so we've got our downloads still happening, showed you around uh, the different applications here. We also give some different views of applications, so if, you, if you're sick of this kind of boring list, you know, you can go in here and look at a kind of Star Wars kind of view, flip through your applications and pick out the ones you want to use. As I mentioned, it's all trying to create a very rich, usable experience that employees will naturally like and give them really a, a new impression of enterprise IT. Let's jump back here to the home page. Let's talk about Expert City. We'll go there now. What Expert City is all about is users helping users. We want to minimise the amount of calls going to help desk. Okay? So what Expert City is all about is creating an environment where users can create uh, wiki entries, discussions, forums. We've got some documentation there, FAQs and things like that. Again, we've got some demonstration videos created through GoView. Uh, if those particular areas didn't help the user out, what they're then able to do is use GoToAssist to make a one single call to the help desk through GoToAssist. Uh, the help desk can remotely assist them and they can solve all of their issues all through Expert City. Users helping themselves and if they can't help themselves, then one click solutions for their issues. So Michael, that's Citrix Dazzle. Fantastic. Thank you, Adam. So Citrix Dazzle is a really interesting New, way, new approach to, to dealing with uh, getting applications to users. I think it's actually a really big move. And the thing that I'd really, really emphasize is it's really bringing some of those paradigms, some of those things that people are really used to into the enterprise to make your jobs, our jobs easier.